Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show and we try and set up number three this week. Yeah, two state microphones, <laughs> two cameras and a GoPro. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where to look. Are I don't know, you keep looking, look yeah, I've got multiple, there's three cameras on us right now. Let's look at each other. Okay. Yeah, focus. It's intense. This is intense because we don't normally look at each other. Mm. We normally have the option to go look it's around. I just look slightly above your head. Yeah, look. I'm going to quickly give a uh, message to the viewers. Um, we're gonna, we've got a great show for you today with lots of exclusive, amazing content. But first, I wanted you to do two things. Uh, first, I want you to like and subscribe this video. Secondly, I want you to go to our Instagram page and subscribe there. And thirdly, I want you to uh, go to our Twitter page and subscribe there. TikTok. Right? TikTok. TikTok. There's four <laughs> things. Go and subscribe to TikTok as well. All places have got great content, but this is the place for the new show, right? Mm -hmm. This is it. One and only. Let's do it. We're going to start off with uh, female 9A news because Melissa Leneve, uh, I think I pronounced that correctly, always struggle with that one. Uh, she has climbed Action Direct. And as we chatted about a few podcasts ago, this is potentially the world's first 9A way back in the day. And this is the first female ascent. Action Direct is a short and aggressive 9A. The climbers are forced to use finger pockets and monos to get through the steep line. Melissa has been training hard recently and has had Action Direct as her goal for the last few years. Perhaps better known for her bouldering and until recently competing in the IFSC World Cup, she retired in 2016. The route clearly meant a huge amount to her and she thanked Frankenura legend Marcus Bock in an Instagram post saying he helped her to understand the jump. Congratulations, Melissa. So awesome news from Melissa. Uh, yeah. we, we said a couple of weeks ago how much she'd been training indoors through that lockdown period and just straight into Action Direct. And I think the reason people are talking about it is just because there's been like 20 uh, male ascents. She's the first female ascent. It's a very physical, very direct route and just awesome to see her send that. What? Because uh, you did Bar Bar Black Sheep? Yeah, AC Plus. AC Plus yeah. Is that near there? It's it's in the same area, certainly in the Franklin Euro. So, and it, it's a similar kind of pockety style route. She, she's so. kind of based around there, isn't she? With she's she's uh, her and Fabian Bou. Uh, yes, they're, they're a couple. Can we, mm -hmm. They are a couple. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's out there. Yeah, it's there. It's, yeah. it's in the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he took the photos that we were showing on screen as well on her Instagram account. So he was there. Another interesting fact about that is that it is going to be featured on Real Real Rock. Okay. Uh, the next Real Rock. Cool. I've seen one Instagram teaser she's put out, so there is mm. film footage, right? Yeah, well, I'm always like blown away by how those guys like find those stories, and mm. then they're like, they, they have said to her, right, what's your plan for the next year? And she's just like, I'm like, with probably with many people, she's just told them, uh, and then they're like, okay, let's go, let's go and film it. That's yeah. a really cool project. I mean, that's like a landmark project, and they've got it. Yeah, and she, I mean, she's been thinking about it for six years. So at any point, okay, they fine. could have got it. All right, so but, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fair enough. So she, it's, I didn't realize that it was like it was a big thing. I think it was her long-term goal, but not necessarily the thing she was sort of actively trying. And I think only recently has she been like, right, now's, now's the moment to get did it Did you done. know about it? Uh, her trying it, no. <laughs> did, you, did you know that it was her project? Uh, no, I didn't. I had no idea. I had, had a feeling, I didn't know it was that, but I had a feeling that it was such that she was building something. Okay. I mean, it makes like, sense, doesn't it? She's bolder, it's a bouldery route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was like, she's been like, all the training she's been doing has been really specific, really like hardcore. Uh, she's like changed her trainer, I think, a couple of times okay. maybe, but it's like, yeah, she's, she's, she's definitely stepped up. Uh, next up, we've got Epic TV athlete Stefano Gasolfi getting busy in Italy. Epic TV athlete Stefano Gasolfi's confinement training has obviously worked a treat, as in the past week he has sent three AC Plus routes and most recently a 9A forward slash plus first ascent at the Remo di San Paolo Crag near Arco. First off, Stefano ticked off Zauber Free AC Plus, which took him two days. He then moved to the Masoni Crag to climb the AC Plus route X Large. He then moved back to Arimo de San Paolo to Red Point Sant'Angea, which is just to the right of Zauberfri, and goes at more like 8C plus forward slash 9A. Stefano had to replace a boat on Sant'Angea, and whilst he was there, he added a boat that connected the intense start of that route with the finishing crux section of Zauberfri. This test piece of the crag took him just three days to take down, and he graded it at 9A forward slash plus. Impressive work, Stefano. So what a week, what a return from confinement from Stefano. Uh, yeah. I think that little garage, uh, well, that little, that, yeah. that impressive garage gym setup has paid off. Yeah, He's, it's, uh, it's got to be the hardest indoor climbing wall 
anywhere that thing i mean it's just endurance uh, fest yeah isn't it? yeah like, i reckon he goes he just probably spends, spends hours on that wall he's, he's, he's got a lot to do his flat is quite small so unless he's got that space to go to during lockdown he would have gone mental so. yeah i can imagine yeah. i can imagine but yeah that's amazing 3hc pluses a 9a forward slash plus uh and which is the fastest in so he is killing it Another climber who is killing it uh, yes. is Jernet Kruder. Again, never out of news at the moment. And he's just uh, done a climb that he describes as his nemesis project. Jernet has climbed Halupka and 9A in OSP. This is Jernet's second 9A of the month, and he's clearly in good form. The route emerges out of a cave and he had to fight hard for the send. He skipped a quick draw on one of the cruxes and had to keep things calm as the cave floor was dangerously close. So uh, keeping things calm. So if you see the Instagram picture, he's got like rope dangling all the way under this cliff. And I think he just missed a draw. And I, he's sort of implying it would have been broken bones if he had dropped that move. But I think, you know, swinging down onto the cave floor. Would Is it quite cavey? Been... It's cavey climbing out of the cave. It's low and cavey. Which right. is always a bit of a dodgy area. So, Do you reckon he just like decided to miss a bolt to make it more spicy? I just, yeah, probably knowing him. Yeah, he's probably got a beer stashed on the last quick draw or something. Just, yeah. Yeah, maybe I reckon, I reckon he'd only be pretty good at track climbing. Yeah, he would be, wouldn't he? He'd be like, he'd just be gung ho with it. He'd totally gung ho. There'd be no like red, you know, like head pointing. He'd just be like, that'd be all right. Yeah. Can yeah. we give me that micro cam off I go? Maybe that's a series, Yone and Grit. That would be, oh my God, that would be good. Honestly, that would be amazing. I'd love to see that. Okay, next up, we've got some exclusive news, Matthew. Exclusive wow. news wow. Uh, from Fontebleau. French climber Aurélien Berton from the Reunion Island has become the fourth female to climb an 8C boulder, with a first ascent in Fontainebleau. After having spent the confinement in Paris, Aurélien, along with her family, took the chance to head straight to the forest and have been ticking hard blocks ever since. The latest is a lower start to a boulder first climbed by Dave Graham back in 2003, called Satan y Elvete. That boulder was initially graded AB, but then a hole broke, which created a harder boulder problem climbed by Albon Livier in 2016 and given the grade AB+. Orient, who is still only 15, made a lower start to Albon's AB+, and has proposed a grade of 8C. Since she climbed it, several others have tried the problem with only Charles Albert managing to climb it. The barefoot climber agrees that it is hard, but will not commit to a grade but the general consensus is that it is hard enough to be an 8C. So we said the females were climbing hard mm -hmm. last week. Uh, it looks like they're climbing harder. Why is it, this is an exclusive for a reason for us, right? This is very exclusive for a very good reason. The reason is, is that Orien Berton is from the Reunion Island. And I don't want to say it's the only reason, but uh, Johan Carvella, who, uh, who produces Rilla Vertical, mm -hmm. is also from the Reunion Island. And there's a link there and they've used that link in order to give Johan the exclusive rights of the video footage of uh, uh, Orian sending the sending the problem. Okay. So if you want to, I'm going to talk to the camera now. If you want to watch uh, the send footage of Orian becoming the fourth female to climb in 8C, head over to the Rilla Vertical channel. It's linked in below. Uh, but you probably already subscribed to Rilla Vertical already, even if you don't speak French, because the cinematography on that channel is superb. There you go. That was beautiful. Thank you very that much. That was really good. Yeah. I, I, I'd click on that. <laughs> um, more 9A sending news now, this time from Switzerland. Samuel Ormetz has made a first ascent of La Mola Mola, a 9A route in La Pamproz, Switzerland, which was bolted 10 years ago. The route is short at 25 moves, but packs a punch. He focused on this climb during the spring and has overall had 12 to 13 sessions on the route. 10 years ago. So Dave Graham, I think, bolted that 10 Mola, years Mola. ago. Mola, what a name, eh? Mola, Mola. And they just sat there not being climbed. He did 12, 13 sessions after lockdown. Boom, done. No longer a project. What's this guy called again? Uh, Samuel Ormetz. Uh, Ormetz. Samuel. Do you know him? Uh, yeah, I've heard of him. Have you? Yeah he's, yeah, he's been on the scene a while. Sammy. That's what he likes to be Sammy called Roy. to his mates. Uh, that's impressive. Uh, I, like, I like hearing about climbers that climb hard that we don't really know about. Yeah. They've obviously like been working behind the scenes doing their thing mm, and like they come out and explode <laughs> onto that 6B. I mean, that's me, sorry, onto <laughs> that 9A. Uh, right, next up, we got news from across the pond. It's uh, Brooke Rabatou. Brooke Rabatou is on fire at the moment, sending two incredibly hard boulder problems in the past week. First up, she repeated the Isabel Faust boulder problem, Wheel of Fortune in Clear Creek Canyon. And this week, she has managed the AB plus problem, Muscle Cars in Boulder, Colorado. The problem, which seems to have a couple of variations, has seen a bit of action recently. Paul Robinson climbed Muscle Car High last week, an 8B. 
Alex Puccio climbed Muscle Car Light, an AB+, and now Brooke has climbed Muscle Car AB+. I think they're on the same boulder. The Muscle Car thing. Unless they're just all adding like names to them. Yeah. I would say like uh, Muscle Car High by Paul Robinson is an AB, so I'm, I'm assuming that's a different problem altogether. Mm -hmm. It might even be on a different boulder. It might be in a different country. Mm. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, I do, it's in Boulder, Colorado, but I'm not sure like what the variation is, but Muscle Car Light is an AB+, and Muscle Car is an AB+. I'm not sure if Brooks just maybe would like left out the light. Yeah, because light would make it seem easier, you'd think, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe she wants to like upplay it rather yeah. than downplay it, like <laughs> Alex. Right, there we go. Uh, but again, more female, uh, women's, uh, whatever, you, yeah. Yeah, just say both words yeah, and one of them will be correct. Actions, I mean, it's amazing what, what yeah. I think they're just really good at uh, lockdown. I think so too, as we discussed, yeah, and, and, and the, the counters, the counters. They, might, they might get some action. <laughs> I've, I've got one more bolder thing. Um, Do it. A British climber, Alex Waterhouse, he's made the second ascent of that brutal Tom Rolder crack. Tom Rolder? Rolder. Tom Randall Boulder problem. That's what Tom Randall calls himself when he's bouldering. Tom Roller. Tom Rowder. Rowder. Mm. Alex has climbed the huge 40 foot horizontal roof crack called the Kraken, first put up by Tom Randall in 2016. It's considered to be one of the hardest crack boulders in the world. Alex hasn't done a lot of crack climbing, but put in an incredible effort on the climb, basically learning how to jam properly whilst working it. Having decided to focus on outdoor projects due to the delay of the IFSC season, Alex spent just three sessions working the boulder. What's the grade of it? Uh, it's like V13, uh, okay. so that's like 8B. Yeah. But he, he literally, he bought Pete with his new crack climbing book, sat underneath the thing, learned how to tape up, was reading how to do it whilst doing little sessions of it. He had nice. no idea how to jam before. Um, what like, a dude. Alex Waterhouse, remember he was in that video we did? Not Blockfest. we did. Yeah, Blockfest, exactly. He's kind of quirky, kind of weird, a bit different. And, and something like the Kraken fits, I think, into his style of mm. like doing things that are just not quite normal. There is a video of this, not of him doing it, but of Tom Randall doing it back in the day, back in 2016. We embedded that, it's back on the channel, so there's a link down below if you want to check out how brutal it is. It's a weird thing for a climber who's a little bit quirky. I mean, normally <laughs> you, are you trying to say all? Straight down the line, yeah, they're all very sensible human beings, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of which, Nambi County. Yes. <laughs> Do we have anything on the 9B counter this week? We have uh, we have women's 9A. So oh. Melissa uh, and I've run out of I've run out of paper and I'm literally trapped in in my in the setup. Teresa, Teresa. We... Uh, look at that. She's got it already for you already. Uh, what are you talking about? No, it's not. It's uh, not. No, it's we, not there. Can I just point out that we are extending the women's 9A counter before the 9B counter and before even the 8C plus counter? How sick is 2020, that? 2020, the year of the woman. Yeah. Uh, and thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and also, I like the fact that on the women's counter currently, I haven't put in their names for some reason. So I've got LR, JC, and AT. Do you know who they are? No idea. I mean, Laura, Laura Rigora. Laura Rigora. Why do you do? Why do you do it right now? Come on. Uh, come spelling, on. Give me some names. It's okay, not very nice I'm, I'm gonna, not to have any names. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. All. M L N. Put her in. But Melissa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Melissa's there. M L S S. Okay. So Melissa. I never. God. She's got one point. One point? Uh, she's got one point, yeah. One point, yeah. yeah. Oh, two point. No, one point. One point. So that means that uh, Angie Ita and JC, Jesus Christ. Julia Chardonnay. Julia Chardonnay. Oh, I butchered that name again. It's not Chardonnay, is it? It's Cha Chardonnay. Chardonnay? Chardonnay. 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 Not Chardonnay. No, not Ch Different. That is Ch different. Chardonnay. We got a lot of stick for that. A couple yeah, yeah, of weeks yeah. Ago. Chardonnay is okay. how you spell it. Cool. We actually we brought Johan in specifically. Yeah. Uh, to monitor to, the French. To, to advise us on our French yeah. pronunciation this week. Uh, that's it. I think I've got E10. We haven't been sent any E10s. Uh, Orion's route was 8C, not 8C plus. She doesn't get on that. That's tough. That's tough. Cool. <laughs> What's next? We're going to talk about media. I want to just reiterate the media that we've got. Relo Vertical, Orient Berton. Exclusive. Berton, 8C, First Ascent, Fontainebleau, Need I Say More, Johan de Carvela, beautiful cinematography. He didn't actually shoot it, so it's not him, <laughs> but it's on his channel. So go watch it. 
Yeah? Yeah. Anything else? Te- we, we got a teaser? Can we have a teaser? Johan, can we have a teaser for a bit? A little teaser? Here's a little teaser. I, this is this is her trying it and falling off. So that's her falling off. She actually does climb it. So if you want to watch the full thing of her climbing it, go to Red Cow. Nice. Uh, getting I, confused again with who to look at. Uh, yeah, I know. I kept looking at the camera. Because when you look at a camera, I, for some reason, start looking at a Your camera. Just so I'm like, hey. Twitch. Uh, I've got a bit of Meejas, which is uh, Climbing Daily from Monday. Monday. Uh, ice climbing is a bit weird, right? It's a bit of a weird sport. And yeah. there's some crazy bizarre moves, including figure nines and figure fours and stein pulls. Mm-hmm. We go through all them on Monday. Uh, and I think this has got relevance to rock climbers as well, because we're starting to see figure fours in rock climbing come in, especially in comps. So check out this little teaser. A figure four is a way of gaining more height, especially when you have bad feet. In essence, you're using your leg to gain leverage and using your core and leg muscles instead of your biceps. It's a way of avoiding a very powerful and energy sapping lock off. To do the move, you cross one leg over the opposite arm. So either your right leg over your left arm or the other way around. It's important to have your knee pinching your wrist. Don't hunch with your back, instead pull back with your shoulders, then stretch up using the extra reach to gain the next hold. Now we have demoed it on the ground. Let's take it to the structure. So thanks to Ian for doing that. I was doing Ulu, uh, and that is the, almost the last ice climbing footage we've got of the year. Almost. We've got one more video. Really? Yeah, one more. So relevant. Mm. Um, <laughs> remember that uh, 8C problem that a guy did in Fontainebleau? I can't remember his name, but he used, had to he used figure four, uh, figure four beta to climb an 8C. Like, yeah, years and years. I do years vaguely years. remember that. Yeah. I don't even know who it is. Let us know in the comments. But uh, yeah, so it is relevant. Mm. Exactly. I mean, it's, say, not, it's not not relevant. No comp climbers uh, in in I can't remember which one, but I've seen IFSC athletes during a lead comp. Bus. Oh, Sean McCall, I've got a picture of him. Sean McCall doing a fig four at Chamonix four. a couple of years ago. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fair play, Sean. Mm. Uh, what's next? Uh, comment of the week. Comment of the week. And shop stuff. Comment and of the week stuff. first? Comment of the week. You go okay. first. To sing or? Ready. Okay. We can do it now with probably microphones uh, as well. Add camera. Uh, just just um, ad lib. Okay, okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Comment, 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 comment of the comment week. Of the week, 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 week. My comment is from Scott Morgan, who says, you two look amazingly normal, no beards or pink hair. Uh, so he's commenting on the fact that last week was our first new show back together. And I think we've we've missed, or I've certainly missed an opportunity to do something weird. I can't grow a beard, as we know, I've tried it, it doesn't mm-hmm. work. But I could have gone for, for some sort of like, like hair color or maybe like a tash during lockdown. I could have gone more, I think. Uh, I mean, I think you tried really hard with the tash <laughs> yeah. and the beard. Yeah. You did really, I mean, you know, fair play. You, yeah. you, you right, that's really... three weeks. This, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you save on on, on clippers. And... I do. I buy one set of razors a year. You know those six packs you buy. That's you it. You buy one set of razors. And it probably year. lasts me two years. I mean, I reckon you're probably shaving your body more than your. Well, your I face have to. Body. I mean, this smoothness. You can't see it right now. I've got a t-shirt on, but yeah, this has got to be maintained. Smooth as a baby's bottom. It's tricky. Uh, <laughs> my comment is from Jacob Sh- 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 Schwarzman. <laughs> Pretty much, I like his name more than anything. He says, "I look forward to this Wednesday new show every week. It's the only keep, it's the only thing keeping me sane, which is nice." Can you imagine us being the only thing keeping someone sane? I can imagine it. I think it's probably true for thousands and thousands and thousands of people, right? Let us know. Comment below. But Jacob uh, Schwarfman, is that how you pronounce your name? Jacob uh, has got a great name. I like the name Jacob. I love the name Schwarfman. <laughs> It's kind of like, sounds like Jason Schwartzman, who uh, was a famous actor. He is still a famous actor. Jason Schwartzman? Yeah. Not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Different. I mean, they can be Different. far They're all from Schwarz, that name, they? But yeah, Schwartz. Yeah, yeah, Schwartz. Schwartz. Uh, shop stuff before we go. Um, this week is the week of sport climbing gear. So we've got loads of sport climbing gear deals going on at the Epic TV shop. We've got a gear show coming out on Friday about uh, sort of items of gear mm-hmm. you may not have thought of in the sport climbing world. 
gear that makes your sport climbing life easier. It's easier, better. It makes your gear last longer. It keeps you safer. Yeah. So there's some good tips coming on Friday. I'm going to look at the camera. Good tips coming on Friday. Uh, go to the Epic TV shop. There's links down below. Grab a bargain now. You know how it works. These don't last around forever. So if you want one, get it now before things sell out. What a, what a great show. But thanks very much, everybody, for commenting last week about what uh, format they like the most. It was kind of a 50-50 split in between podcast and uh, and this. Mm. So we've kind of like <laughs> Come for the middle, kind of amalgamating we? the two. Uh, which, how do you like this format? It's a little bit yeah. different. Is this going to be a podcast? Should we put this as a podcast then, this one? Yeah, let's put it as yeah? a podcast. Okay, this yeah. is pod back to... But then it's a short podcast. It's a little blast. Yeah. A little 20-minute blast. Yeah, a midi pod blast. A minute. A mini pod blast. A mini pod. You just Try to say that, that quick. So yeah. happy with it, mini pod blast. <laughs> mini, mini, mini pod blast. That is a thing. Right. That's that it. is a thing. That is a thing. Uh, all right. Enjoy your week, weekend. You too. What are you doing for the weekend? I uh, just know it's Tuesday. So unorganized. What are you doing for the weekend? I'm lounging my pool. Oh, you got pool? I got pool. No, really? Yeah. Cannonball! <laughs> we haven't been invited yet for Three a pool. Three meters. Long three minutes wide. Can we not do the pod from the pool? No. <laughs> mini pod pool mini pod. blast. <laughs> mini pod pool party. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's social distancing. Oh, fair. I'm sorry. That's fair. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Cool. Um, enjoy. Thank life. you. See you Life soon. is good. Have enjoy. a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.